There's another sector that's doing this alongside us, and that is our primary sector. You will have seen today, earlier today that the Minister of Agriculture highlighted one of our star export performers, horticulture, that is keeping New Zealanders both fed and in jobs at this really important time. Overseas workers traditionally fill many roles in our fruit and veggie growing sector, but as you can imagine, the uh, action that we've taken as a government at the border has meant fewer overseas workers have been available. And now, amid our kiwi fruit harvest, we are seeing reports that those workforces now have over 90% New Zealand staff compared to 50% last season. Last week alone, more than 100 staff were placed into roles in the Bay of Plenty, Auckland and Nelson. The pit fruit industry, um, made up of apples and pears, has seen around 200 workers from other industries placed into jobs across the country. So today, I want to give my thanks to our food producers and every part of that workforce for continuing to look after us and for the actions in uh, that industry to make sure that people uh, remain in employment. Now, I know there are some workers on our orchards at the moment from the Pacific, working hard here while Cyclone Harold crosses their homelands, particularly Vanuatu and Fiji. And I can understand the worry that you will have for your families. A quick update on that front. This morning, a P3 Defence Force aircraft left New Zealand to provide much needed surveillance of damage. I expect that that will actually be happening as we speak. We also have the C-130 at the ready to deploy with essential supplies. In the meantime, our thoughts are with particularly the nation of Vanuatu as they come to grips with the impact of that cyclone uh, and uh, understand that we, of course, are still building a picture of just the scale um, of that cyclone as we speak. Today, I also have an update on how our aviation...